Hello, this is Lauren Satterwhite. In this video, I'm going to cover the two-part attestation option for, for those providers who have attested successfully to meaningful use in a previous program year. In program year 2018, all providers may use a 90-day MU objective reporting period. And just as a reminder, if you're attesting to modified stage 2, you'll be providing data for 10 objectives. And if you're attesting to stage 3, you'll be reporting on 8 objectives. If you need to find the CMS specification sheets for the MU objectives, they can be found on our website or on CMS's website. I'll be providing a link to both of these resources so you can access them below this video. So you can use a 90-day MU objective reporting period, but if you've already attested successfully to MU in a previous program year, you are going to be required to use a full calendar year CQM reporting period. So that means you need to meet six, the six CQMs of your choosing, um, and you need to report on those from January 1st, 2018 to December 31st, 2018, a full calendar year. That also means you won't be able to submit your CQM data in NCMIPS until January 1st, 2019. So to accommodate the providers who want an early review of their requirements excluding CQMs, we do have an option for you to submit your attestation in two parts, which I'll cover here. So part one, if you already have 90 days of MU objective data that meet CMS's requirements, you, uh, you may submit part one of the attestation May 1st, 2018 through December 31st, 2018. And in part one of the attestation, you'll be attesting to demographic, license, patient volume, and MU objective data. You are not required to sign or email any documentation for part one. The attestation packet will be emailed only once and that's going to be after the submission of CQMs which is part two and I'll cover that in just a moment. So once you fill out all the part one information in NCMIPS you'll come to the part one submit page and you must uh, click Submit before it's sent through NCMIPS. And after submitting Part 1, you'll be then routed back to the NCMIPS status page where you'll see Part 1 submitted. When it gets submitted to us, we're going to conduct validations as we normally would, and if there are discrepancies, we'll conduct outreach. And if we validate your attestation and there are no discrepancies that we see, the NCMIP status page will show Submit Part 2 Jan 2019, and you'll receive an email from us with next steps. So let's talk about Part 2 real quick. So after we validate Part 1 of the attestation and you see that status in NCMIPS of Submit Part 2 January 9, 2019, you can return January 1st, 2019 through February 28th, 2019 to submit your CQM data on NCMIPS. And we say February 28th, 2019, but you may complete the attestation through April 30th, 2019. Just a heads up, if you submit after 20, uh, February 28th, 2019, review of your attestation prior to the close of MIPS is not guaranteed. So after submitting your CQM data on NCMIPS, you'll email us the sign attestation packet, uh, and that includes the sign attestation summary, the signed MU objective summary page, the signed CQM summary page, and those all come from NCMIPS. And you'll also send us the CQM uh, report from your EHR that shows you met the CQMs for which you're testing. You'll email all that to ncmedicaid.hit at dhhs.nc.gov to complete part two of the attestation. And just a disclaimer, this two-part process, um, attestation process, is just an option for you. It's not required. So if you don't yet meet meaningful use in a consecutive 90-day period in 2018, or for other reasons you don't want to attest yet, you can wait and submit a full attestation all in one shebang after January 1st, 2019. But while the two-part process doesn't increase or reduce the information being, uh, information being submitted to us, it does allow you to complete your attestation in a 12-month window instead of a 4-month window. So that gives you ample time to address discrepancies that we may find in your demographic or PV information. So the choice is yours, and now you have an overview of the two-part attestation process. 
And if you need extra assistance, we do have attestation guides for this process, one for modified stage 2 and one for stage 3 MU. These attestation guides can be found on the right-hand side of NCMIPS. And as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us at ncmedicaid.hit at dhhs.nc.gov. We're happy to help. Thanks so much for tuning in.